This is Justin Higgins, and today we're going to make something commonly called Ublek, thank you Dr. Seuss, uh, which is a non-Newtonian fluid using cornstarch and water. <music> to make Ublek, you need a larger container that you have a little bit of water in. I've got about a half cup right there, and I got some more water over here. Just in case I make my Ublek that's too dry, I can always add a little bit more water to it to make, make it work again. Now, the cornstarch I'm using is just cornstarch I picked up at the grocery store. Cornstarch is pretty darn cheap. You can already see that I've made this previously. And you're going to mix the cornstarch with the water, where the water is about a 1 to 5 to 2. So you're going to have one, one and a half to 2 times as much cornstarch as water. And since I really like color, I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to put that in the water first. Oops, just give it a good mix in there because what I have found is it's a lot harder to mix the, the, the coloring in after you've done the cornstarch. So go ahead and just put some cornstarch in there and give it a good stir. Now, while you're stirring this, you will notice that it's going to start clumping even right there. You can start seeing that we're making some of our oobleck. And so eventually, yes, yes, science is all about getting your hands in there and really feeling what's going on. And when you stir this around with your fingers, you're one of, going to want to feel it be all liquid. Add a little bit more cornstarch. If you feel clumps, that means you just need to continue stirring. And you are going to have to scrape the edges of your container. Now you can see that I'm too much liquid now. Continue adding in cornstarch. And this is going to be harder the more cornstarch that you add to it because you are making a non-Newtonian fluid. That means that it's somewhere between a solid and a liquid. It doesn't follow the normal ways of we, that we think of for matter. I'm getting close there, Just a little bit more, and you can see as we near this consistency that we want, this becomes harder and harder to do, but you notice that that turns to a liquid pretty darn fast. That's exactly why, because we want something that acts like a solid, like look how solid and clumpy that is and then also a liquid. That's why it's a non-Newtonian substance. Witness that I am doing this in my kitchen because I am going to roll some balls of oobleck, my oobleck substance, my non-Newtonian fluid in my hands to demonstrate something that's really cool about oobleck. If I roll the oobleck, Notice it acts like a solid, but as soon as I stop, oh, it turns to a liquid. That is the definition of a non-Newtonian fluid. It doesn't follow our typical ideas of a solid liquid or gas. And this stuff is really fun to play with. You notice that I'm dripping all over my floor. I am not above carpet. You do not want to have this get into your carpet. It's a pain to get out, especially if you added any sort of food coloring to it, because the food coloring will stain. But if you did not use the food coloring, you can always get it out with water and a little bit of soap. And that's what I'm going to do with the oobleck that has gotten onto my shirt. Oh, don't have enough for a ball anymore. Also, lets me do this. And then when I stop, it turns back to a liquid. Thank you for watching. This has been Justin Higgins. I make these videos usually on Sundays and Wednesdays every week. This is upcoming Wednesday. I'm going to discuss how I destroyed a $50 flashlight because of corrosion and why batteries corrode. Have a great day. And remember, science is in everything.